The tour is on. What's really exciting about this tour is this time we're not going to be opening up for anyone else. We're going to be headlining the show, and everyone, instead of warming them up, are actually coming to see us perform. Cross one, two, three. We went on tour before with our first album, and we made mistakes. We saw what you do want, and we saw what you don't want. We learned that we wanted to do more dance. We wanted to show more of our dance skills off, and that we can sing down and dance down at the same time. A lot of groups aren't doing that. Today we're at rehearsal, working on Bad Girl. And we're just trying to find out what we really want to do with it. So I'm really excited to see what comes together. Five, six, seven. Look in my eyes covered in Maybelline. Looking like something fresh out of magazine. I can be part of your deepest fantasy. Can we walk to her? You're a detective. <laughs> You're the detective. Come solve my mystery. Some love is all that I'm missing. We have a lot of new material to learn. Let me see what it looks like. We want to break some new ground visually. So that takes practice. That's a lot of work. this trick thing. I just want to know who like the most comfortable is kind of flipping, but I want to connect your guys' hands. So it'd be like something like if you guys were my two bases, our arms would connect or your guys' arms would connect and this, my flip would go this way over the top of you guys. So today's day two of rehearsals and Tony is trying to come up with new concepts that haven't been done before on tour by an actual girl group. So we're just gonna try this out. Just bear with us while we work on this. The key is for you to just roll. Roll in like If you jump onto it, then so it's you good. Play, Okay, yeah. It's okay, Donna. Here, they're, they're, oh it's okay. Right at your wrist. And you're you're helping her over pretty much. She's just gonna roll. No, you guys are in my Wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Wait, <I'm not. laughs> I think it's dumb. If you guys drop me on my head, I we just had it going. Yeah. That's great. We have to do this in heels though. <laughs> Come in this way, right? Yeah, and then you can. <laughs> Down. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I don't mind falling. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, let me take a moment. Yeah, Hold on, let me get my three times. <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? We are just tumbling and flipping our way into a big old mess. Uh oh, boobies. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lorianne is back. We heard that she's working with the boys just down the hallway, but we haven't gotten to see her yet. How are you? How are you? It was really good to see her. You know, she did a lot for us and, you know, going through the whole making the band and trying out. Hey. It was really nice to see Lorianne. We haven't seen her in quite a while, but I think about her a lot and I think I really do appreciate what she's done for me personally. And I really did learn a lot from her. Hi, <laughs> Daddy! I've always loved Lori, she's amazing. But in the back of my head, I'm like, didn't her and Puff get in like a really big fight? And like, from what I know, it wasn't resolved. I'm happy and I'm like, Lori, I love you. But then I'm like, oh God, does Puff know? Well, you know, the boys, my God, what were they doing last season? I don't know, right. honey, they she weren't doing anything on us though. Honey bunches of oats. Let's go. Well, I can't. I got. I, sorry. I, I, I got to stick on there too. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a good rehearsal. Bye. Andrea, good to see you, Ma. All right. I'll talk to you guys Bye. later. Okay. So, I mean, I think we should just cut to the chase and just, you know, in order for us to move on, we need to address. The last time we was in the same room with each other. I felt that you crossed the line in how you addressed me. It was not correct. It wasn't right. I've never disrespected you. You crossed the line as far as, as, as me being the boss of this. I ain't never had no problem with you. I ain't never bossed you around in no way. You're right. You're the boss. I've never questioned that. I would never question that. I've worked for you for years. 
So obviously there was a disconnect that maybe both of us just have to agree to disagree. I'm here to do a job. If you want me to finish that job, then I'm going to finish it. So did you miss me when you was away from me? Huh? <laughs> did you miss me? Huh? Huh? No. You didn't miss me? <laughs> no. You didn't miss me a little bit. No, I did not. <laughs> Did you miss me? Sometimes. Check this out. We missed you. You know what I'm saying? You one of the best in the game. And you know, we all artists. We ain't always got to agree, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you're awesome, like my family. OK, yeah. Yeah, and I, I know. I was definitely hurt by your reaction. Yeah, but I, I this is not an, I'm always there. No matter what. I'm and it goes both ways. <laughs> no, I that was know. Our, that was our first problem we've ever had in history. At the end of the day, it was a bad day. But I think our friendship and our love for each other is like, you know, outweighs all that. Absolutely. And we get back to the work because, you know, um, you know, I love your energy no matter how crazy you are. And how, hopefully you <laughs> love my energy no matter how crazy I am. Like, we both crazy artists and we should be able to to, to be that around each other, but at the same time, know where the lines are drawn at. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just don't curse out the general, then. I, w I didn't curse you out. You cursed me out first. But it's OK. We're going to agree to disagree. Welcome back, all right? Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, for real, full out, so we know where the problem is. Tour, Danny D. Kane's gonna be doing about 13 songs. We're gonna be doing stuff from our last album, stuff off of our new album, Welcome to the Dollhouse. So we have tons of work to get down to. Breathe. As a group now, like the way we kind of work when it comes to learning choreography and stuff, it, it honestly goes really smoothly. We all know each other, we know how each other works. You step and you lean and you one, two, throw. Work me half. The lower you get, the better. Because I'm taller than you. I'm taller than you. I'm, I'm lower than you. Then that's a problem. We just really have like this system that kind of just works out, you know, really good and kind of gets things done. Thank you guys. Y'all is ready. Just cleaning and you guys are ready for the stage. Everyone, hello, hello, hello. What's up, what's up? I know that you guys have a very busy schedule, but I want to like kind of get an update to see where y'all are at. I don't care if you got 10% of the song finished, do what you could do, finish it how you would finish it out. The whole process of this is to get better every time we have one of these family meetings, to get better every show that you guys do. Um, I'm going to be hard on y'all just to give you the warning. This is not a game. I know we're not in the competition anymore, but when he comes in the room, you still want to show him. I got it. Still here. It is what it is. Let's see Danny Kane. Donnie, Tang. Day 26, Tang. Now we got to go. It's our turn. I can't wait to get up there and see what's going to happen. <laughs>
But what I just saw there, it shows the possibilities of, of what it can be. Y'all got a long way to go to where it's going to be, though. Y'all are the headliners of this tour, but don't be a headliner by default. If we was doing America's Dance video, your man came in third place. That looks like, it looks like some good choreography. Y'all look like y'all could be my backup dancers or some like that. There's two weak links up in this right here. Andrea and Aubrey. Y'all dance skills, y'all need to step it up. When I first signed you, you was one of the best dancers that came off the bus. When I sat there and I looked right there, I was like, where is this girl from? Just dancing around like that. Things have changed, all right? Y'all gonna be the baddest chicks on the planet, whether y'all like it or not. Thanks a lot. If you're mad at me, if you're mad at me, show me something different. Make me, make me eat my words, show me something different. Are you looking forward to the party? Do I look like a princess? You look like an ice queen. That's not a good, I think that they used that back in the day for women that were bitchy. Really? Ice queen. Well, I'm, that's icy, that's what I mean. Not like a bitchy person. <laughs> so I'm on the cover of the fabulous Shador magazine, and tonight D. Woods and I are gonna celebrate my debut. <laughs> Ooh! D, are my boobs a problem right now? It depends on <laughs> one's tolerance for cleavage. <laughs> D. Woods and I are going out for a night on the town, and we're about to be the official party girls that we are. What's up, Reggie? So, Aubrey is doing fabulous things, despite what some people have to say. She's on the cover of Jador magazine, looking fly. And I just want her to know that, you know, we got to celebrate the things that are, you know, great for us. When I grow up, I want to be famous. Yes. We hear that you have a very exciting announcement to make. Yes. So, what is it? I have a very, it? very, very exciting yes. announcement to make. There Making the go. band for MTV Diddy Tour! Yeah. <laughs> awesome! After the show, Diddy calls us into a meeting. I don't know what the meeting's gonna be about. However, when we're meeting with Puff in a back room, it's never a positive thing, and it's always gonna be something about how we suck. You know, my, my whole career is like I'm really going off a of vibe. If something ain't feeling right about this whole situation, just the overall, like, like styling and imagery of it, you know what I'm saying? You want to show all your skin, you, you, you want to be naked, but the whole concept of Danity Kane was like, when it comes together, it's one. Puff's going hard on the group, and then all of a sudden he singles me out and starts going on and on about how unhappy he is with me, and I just feel like nothing that I do, he's ever happy with. Can I ask a question? How, what do you want to look like, though? Do you want to well, look I like a Playboy, on... Playmate? Do you want to look like you? Puff, I'm done with all of that. No, no, no. Like... What do you want to look okay. like, though? I'll tell what you. What do you want to look like, you. though? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'm not focused on me, 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 me. I'm focused on what this group should look like and how I should fit in this situation. You like big hair, though. I don't you like do big like hair. You do like big hair. You like big like... hair. Puff, you, you, like a look, you like a lot of makeup and all that. Actually, I don't. I don't like big hair. I don't like certain makeup. I'm very flexible with what you want to do, and I've worked with everything that you've thrown at me. I'm not at. seeing the flexibility. You gaming me. Your hair people came in today, and they said this is how it needs to be. You know what I'm talking I don't about. Care. You pushing. Way you're way pushing your own worried. image, though. I'm not worried about whether my hair is straight, curly, whatever. I'm not here in a group to have curly, straight, big makeup, whatever. I'm here in a group to sing with my group, and that is all I care about. For real, like I, maybe you just don't get me, and we You're don't get each other. You're gaming me because if I pulled in all of the makeup artists and all of the hair people, they would not say that. With the wardrobe, did I not try and cover up all the problem areas that I've been seeing were not? Cute yes, we, we had that conversation so then, yesterday. How, how are you gonna get crazy with me? I work well with these people. But it's we're not cool. necessarily just the stomach area. 
You no, I'm talking about all of it. I mean, I was cool with whatever change she wanted to make today, and I did it. Yes, you were today. But, Aubrey, you have to admit that sometimes when you want to do something, you want to do it. Well, yeah, I see what the problems are on TV, Puff. When people are looking crazy or this is looking crazy, that's looking crazy. You even told me, review the things you do and pay attention to what the problem is. So I see what I do, and I see, ooh, that was not a good look. Let me fix that. I read the things that people say. You're the one that told me to do that. I do that, and I make an honest assessment with myself. I don't want you to look like Pamela myself. Anderson. I don't, I don't want to sound like Pamela Anderson. Well, I want to look that's, like Aubrey That's O'Day. in the direction. Well, you don't look like her. You don't look okay, like that girl well, that I signed. I'm glad you know who Aubrey is. Puff, it's hey, three yo. years later. It's three years later, and you're going in the wrong direction. Okay, well, you're going please in the wrong tell direction. me what it is you need to you stop want. The Truck pull over. I'm not changing nothing. Okay, That's well, you wanted the weed out, the weed out. I just want you to you look want, good. You're not happy. You hate me, then why are you having me here? I don't have to have you here. That's one thing that we why can make clear. That's one here. thing we can make clear. But I'm I don't asking, have to have I you here. I'm know trying. Why do you have me here? Because every have, time have, it's just I have I have such a problem. I have you here. I have you here because I feel you're talented. But don't get it twisted. I'm starting to think about I'm why do I have you here. I'm not getting Okay, so you clear on that, though. Check this out. You clear on that. You understand now. I'm, I'm asking myself, why do I have you here? So I'll move on to something else, so, no, I, and I'll, I'll give you the answer soon, all right? And you may not be here then. Okay. But, Before it gets to and that. anybody want to go with you, they could go too. Don't get it twisted, man. It gets dark and lonely. It does, trust me. Pretty quiet for a change. <laughs> Girl, I'm just like. It's gotten to a point where I just, I feel like this situation is getting impossible for me. You know, it's just like, I hate having these like, these battle moments. Like I'm really, it's weighing heavy on my heart. You can be as confident as you want to be, and like, Lord knows I'm not in any place where like, I'm completely comfortable with who I am, you know, I'm 20. But that's the thing, like, that you have to always stand strong on, and it's going to take work. So every time you get in front of him. I know. It's not about but, proving but yourself to him, time, but it's just doing you. But at the same time, strong, it's, it's like never ending. The thing that like keeps me, keeps me going is like, you know, I mean, seeing you guys and like seeing that you guys believe in me, but it's like at the end of the day, you guys can believe in me all you want, but Puff is running bad boy. He's running our position in Atlantic. He's running the, the, the show. He's running all of this. And at the end of the day, if the guy sitting on the throne really believes all the things that he's been saying about me, then like I need to be somewhere else because I don't believe them. Mm -hmm. And if him and I aren't gonna be able to like meet on the same page, then I need to be somewhere else that's going to support and believe in me. What's up? How you doing? You all right? Cool. So, um, real quick, I just want to see, get an update of, you know, where you at real quick. Let's... All right, cool. Let's see the girls real quick. Very 
want to talk? You want to talk to me in private? Yeah. Right. I really want to talk to you about the way our relationship has been uh -huh. for a minute. I feel like some of the stuff you say to me and the way that you push me really positions me as a problem child in this group, and there's so much more to me. Uh -huh. And um, I want to fix that. Well, uh, I was just feeling a lot of individuality instead of, like, you coming in and taking your talents and making a group better. Um, all of the other stuff, that isn't why I signed you. I signed you because of your talent, you know what I'm saying? Because you could sing, because you could dance. Because of your charm, your charisma. It hasn't been me trying to like demean you or trying to downgrade you. I've been trying to just like, you know, wake you up and, um, and, and trying to get you to really, you know, take advantage of this opportunity. And I, I want you to be hard on me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I appreciate the fact that you're hard on me. When you're not, it would, wor it would worry me if you weren't, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I want you to know, like, I totally respect you. And when I come mm -hmm. at you, it's not to disrespect you. I understand that you've given me this opportunity, mm -hmm. and, you know, and I want you to keep I want you to keep pushing me. I just want our relationship to be better mm -hmm. because the way it is now, I, I just it's hard for me to, like, take what you're it's hard for me to get the message you're trying to give me. OK, I mean, I know sometimes I got to work on my, um, you know, my communication as a coach, you know, or, you know, as a leader and, you know, you know, to motivate more, you know, what I'm saying. But at the same time, like, you know, I, I like to call it like I see it, you know. And one of the biggest things is just like if you ain't, it ain't we ain't got to be on no yes sir, no sir, but the slick at the mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know you got to see, you know you got to You know I was always mouth. like that. Did okay. you not know that? Yeah, but it's just From like. From the very beginning, it, I always was slick. Yeah, yeah. So we could just, t I'm just asking. You liked that about me in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. Then it came at you, and then you didn't like it okay. anymore. <laughs> So, no, but we, 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 I just want you to best be the best that you could be. You know what I'm saying? I, I see great things for you. I see bigger things than where we're at. You know what I'm saying? I want you. To, I want you to lead this group and unify it. And I, I want us to, you know, keep on working because we we still got a long way till we till we great. And I think with this tour, you're gonna get a chance to go out there and really show people what you got. Being able to perform. It's what we love the most. Mm -hmm. That's why we do this every day. All right, let's get on that. Let's get back to what got us here. Working together and um, climbing up this hill together. You feel me? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, then. That's a sexy <laughs> routine right there. I ain't gonna lie. That right there, that's hard right there. We love it. I like everything that I saw. And the secret about having a great show is can you do it with all the lights on mm -hmm. in an empty room? Like, I was just entertained. I was captivated. Like, I feel like y'all really got what it takes. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here like proud papa. No disrespect to none of the other groups. They ain't got it like that. Puff comes in and for once doesn't kill the day, but only makes it better. And we're definitely happy about that. We need to at least give ourselves a pat on the back. We've been working hard. Now let's go party hard. Woo! <laughs> Dee and I are Ebony and Ivory. Salt and pepper. And together, we run the streets. I know she's the one to go out with because Andrea is more of a homebody. Shannon's married and she wants to be, you know, on the phone talking to hubby. Dawn's working on getting married. What's left? Ebony and Ivory. We are 
are young, fun, we're single, we're ready to mingle, we're looking fine, and we're looking for you. Watch out. What a nice day to take a stroll. It's nice and sunny. I'm not in rehearsal right now. <gasps> Ooh, look at the boat. Oh my goodness, wait, you know what this means, right? Strong Iron Man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. How you doing? All of a sudden, we end up in this huge sea of gorgeous seamen. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Oh, my God. Look at you guys. I don't know if any of these men are ready for an Aubrey and D Woods, but you know, me and Aubrey are hoping to meet some seamen or some marines or anybody. Tonight, everyone's heading out. Sanity Kane, day 26, Donnie. Sudden, the cute military men come over. Yes! I'll see y'all later. Good night. You too. Come on, soldier. We finally met our men in arms. They're from the Marines. There was a particular one that stood out to me. He has a cute little baby face. He's so sweet. And on his sweet little body, he has horrible death tattoos. What's your job? Artillery. We're both artillery. So you deal with all the guns. Yeah. We had this whole Fleet Week fantasy all week, and now we're finally getting to fulfill it. We're going to end it here at Johnny Utah's, though. We're not going anywhere else. I don't know if they know that, but we know that. <laughs> that is so funny! <laughs> The mission was definitely accomplished. Dee and I became little military women for the night. Thank you, soldiers. This is my version of the salute. Ready? <laughs> hey, it's Danity Kane. Now you've seen us on TV, but here's your chance to see us live in concert in New York City. Get out there, because day 26, Donnie Clay, and of course the best part is, Sanity King. It's Wednesday at the Hammerstein Ballroom. Don't miss it. Oh. When I'm singing, I don't hear myself. We gotta, we gotta work on your monitors right now. In this tour, we're doing headsets and handhelds, and we've never worked with the headsets before. Poetry, damage, like, I need to hear the chorus is in my ear. Well, let's, let's get the monitors right first. Let's get your ears right first, because we're running out of time. Our sound check's running longer than it's supposed to, and so we're kind of jumping into everyone else's times right now. We still sitting, and we still wait on Danny Kane. I don't care how long it takes. We're gonna be up here so we get it right. Set up now. So it's been a rough day, and now Diddy's here. Here we go. We start the show, and uh, there's a lot of feedback problems. We're 
struggling to finish, even though it's really just becoming one big disaster. Bro, what I'm like, they whispered on me, Jenny. I swear to God, they whispered on me, on this person. I promise you, they whispered on me. Andrea, Andrea, huh? Andrea's mic, you turn it up? Is your mic on? Let me hear you. Was your mic on? I was know? singing the whole time. So you got to give a signal, though. You can't keep it going on. You have to do something to your hand. You have to I give a signal. I can't hear out that it's out of there, though. He said he has y'all mics up, but he says it's like y'all whispering. No, that's you know, bull I was singing oh, mad hard. Loud. I was singing mad hard. It's not mixed. Some vocals are louder than the other, and that has nothing to do with us. OK. This is what everybody goes through. You the headliner. You just keep on writing the list. Keep on writing the changes. Scratch one off. Now I'm going to just give y'all my opinion on what changes y'all should make. And then y'all gonna have to know yourselves every night. Okay, damn, that didn't work. They was looking at us like we was crazy. Let's, let's all come down here. Let's do this. Puff sits us down to give us his notes, and he has a whole lot of them on that little piece of paper that he's holding. We got some things we gotta fix. I think they need to really restage the intro and really milk the drama of y'all being up top. You need to cut some of the fluff out so it stays exciting. It just gets a little long-winded. The sleep on it was something that could be honestly cut out. Add talking parts in between, like, every two songs. Put damage in the right place. Really talk to the light person. If anything, he could get right a program. Can you just cut Suck a Love for Love, period? Yeah. Great. So you want to just redo our whole show? OK, that sounds like that can happen by tomorrow. The headliner is different. They want to feel like you're sitting them on their lap, doing every song with them. If somebody gives you five songs in a great way, you love it. If they give you five songs great and five songs you ain't want to hear, you ain't really want to do that. Tomorrow, the, the crowd is going to be here. You're going to be feeling this pressure for the first couple of shows. Today, wait, drum roll, please. Today is the big day. <laughs> Show day for me, you get nervous a little bit, but it's more like anxious. The stage is home, so it's like I'm anxious to, to get in my comfort zone. I'm a little nervous. I, I always get a little nervous, but I, I think I'm extra. Nervous now. I mean, we're the headliners, and Diddy's putting a lot on our shoulders. It was the most amazing feeling ever to see that many people in a theater just waiting to see Danity King. Once upon a time.
home. We're in the middle of a show. What are you doing? <laughs> Is he really stopping our show? Oh my gosh, I thought we were doing good. <laughs> Sold more than day 26 as of today. Make some noise. Danny D. Kane is in the lead. <laughs> Thank y'all for making day 26 of Danny D. Kane number one. Gold albums on the way to quadruple. Ten times, a hundred times platinum. Make some noise. Girls, I apologize. Get out of the stage. Get we out. We apologize get for that interruption. Out. Ladies and gentlemen, now back to our regularly scheduled program. theater filled with all of your fans. I mean, something just comes out of you. We can just become whatever greatness is inside of us. Yeah! Yo, for real, for real, for real, for real, ain't no book. I was on the sides over there just looking at y'all with a, such a sense of pride, like the way y'all have grown. The way you stepped it up, all my beefing with you, it was for a reason. You was out there killing it, baby girl. This is the way I like to see y'all look. This is the way I like to see y'all feel. The way I like to see y'all command the situation, you know what I'm saying? I was up there, I, I was at a concert. I wasn't working, I was up there, I was looking at y'all. Such a, such a sense of pride. Y'all was just doing your thing. Yeah. I record, need to record it, record it, record it. Record it, record it. Record it. Yeah. No, no, I'm telling y'all. Hurry up, hurry up, come on, get, get, get ready to record, this is it, this is it, okay, y'all, y'all, okay, for real, it was like, the way y'all looked at all your people in their eyes, the way y'all gave a show for them, the way y'all turned into divas on Bad Girls, y'all had them from ever since there, the way, the theatrics of it, the way y'all made the changes, that, that's the test of champions, you know what I'm saying, T to always be able to adapt, I gave y'all a couple of notes, but y'all put that show together, y'all went and did some things, and I was just, I was sitting there, and I was entertained, Y'all remembered, you don't have to give them too much. Just enough for them to be wanting more. I don't know if y'all realize it, but the whole floor, they still standing out there. Mm -hmm. They ain't leave. Less is more. Did y'all feel what I was feeling, though? This was your show. For me, it was like finally the dream had come true. And I want to thank y'all for working hard. I'm proud of y'all. I'm passing y'all the baton now. I'm not going to be yelling at y'all no more. I'm not going to be checking y'all. Y'all got to check each other's. Y'all got to be accountable for y'all careers. 
and y'all going to the next level. You ready? I just want to watch and be a fan. Have a good time. All right? Let's go. Yeah. Before we get on the road, we have to advertise so that the cities we're coming to know that we are coming. Daddy K is bringing Making the Band to you. Oh, okay, I don't want to you live. What? <laughs> Hot 97.5 blazing today. Oh, you oh, my you invented a whole new radio station. With WPO, right. with WPYO 99, uh, blah. with WFLZ 93, 90. Yo, what up? We're day 26. You're making the band. It's coming to your town, nigga. You. And the is gonna be even better because you can be on it. Ha, 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 ha. I'll take it with it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you messed up a good ass tape. Hey, it's Danny Kane. Joy. 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 Hey, this is Danny Kane. Sorry, say your name. Sorry. Oh, we're hungry. This Saturday, tomorrow, or oh, this Saturday. XL1067.com. I was hoping you guys we're would get that right. Hey, it's Danny Kane. Listen here on POW 106. <laughs> <laughs> Where hip hop lives. Today's the day we're officially on tour. Oh, we headed out, we packing up, hitting the bus, and headed on our six city tour. D, I'm having some trouble packing. I see. It hasn't made its way into the suitcase. D, help me zip. Where is all that stuff going to go? OK, ready? I'm going to jump. Dang, why won't you just fold? Then things would fit. That's how you got to do it, D. I have an announcement. Oh. Yeah, boys, do you guys know this? We have an announcement. This uh -oh. is the first and number one rule of this bus. Uh -oh. About to be with Day 26 and Donnie on a long tour. So first, we must establish ground rules, folks. Here are all the rules. Number one, do like not a take a dump. <laughs> Rule number one, no going number two. Two. Hold on, y'all thinking like girls like don't him? do the number two, too. Diddy Kane does not front. When we have to do it, we, we will tell the bus, bus driver. We will get off. We yeah. need to get off at the next exit. <laughs> yep, we say it. Step back. Can you say it twice? Yeah. Yeah. Serious. No stinky stink on the bus. We can't have it. So that's rule number one. It's no sloppiness. No we're no not sloppy sloppy picking up. Come on, man. That's for the tour. No, rule number two. We can drink and cuckoo. You know, it's fun. Bad boy for life. But. There will be no excessive drinking to the point where you fall in a bush. Oh, oh s I'll jump. <laughs> Rule number three. Oh, if you didn't enough. buy it, do not, do not eat it. Girls got about a whole page full of rules that they want us to go by. This is not your bus. This is our bus. How you going to give us rules? I thought it'd be cool if Q and I and my parents go to dinner. The problem is, everybody else wants to go, too. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need a quick long round for me? <laughs> Are you scared? No, I'm not nervous. My dad doesn't bite, I promise. OK, I'm nervous. Hey, daddy. Baby, I'm real nervous. Like, I think any any man would have been nervous meeting Don's parents, so I, I, I don't know what to expect. Time for a little Alki. What, Long Island? Yeah. Patron. He drank two things of Patron. Daddy, you want some sweets? All of them have, like, drugs, and you don't. He can't order alcohol yet, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> like, snap. I got that. He's, did you just say snap? <laughs> Me and I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're having a good time. We're eating. We're all chatting. Let me have some of your drink. Oh, that's, oh no. Don, you don't need this whole thing yourself. Me and you are the lightweights of this group. That's why I'm saying no to you. No, I don't want you doing Q in the bus. Come on, Don. Oh, uh, I'm thinking, oh, man, like, he about to punch me in my face. You all right? Yeah. 
Y'all good? I understand. I know the deal. I'm sorry, it might have been different if I didn't know you. This family knows me very well. I'm not surprising them. Y'all gonna get my parents started. They don't drink. What's... You said don't have sex because it's two minutes, and then you're pregnant. That's what you told me. Is that how Little Dawn was created? No, honey. Little Dawn wasn't created in two minutes. <laughs> So it was a great dinner, and he got out of it with flying colors. He looked a little nervous in the beginning. But it's all good. My parents are cool. Come on, baby, let's go. We got a roll. Mm, nice to meet you. Be good. Be good. Okay. <laughs> I love you so much. Love you too, baby. You've been okay. Hey, do you like me? <laughs> Was he real with you? Did he seem like yeah. he liked you? Then he liked you. If he didn't like you, he'd let you know. Okay. Me and Willie have a little bit of a bet going, and I told him, I said, Willie, if you take your shirt off, you owe me $20 every time you do it. Thus, ladies, I am going to be rich. Man, it was fun. I can't wait to do this stuff over and over and over again. I could retire with this check. She came out like a bro. Wait, did everyone else take their shirts off, too? Wait, because y'all all walked out. Like, no, I'm get through it, Willie. I want to run his belly. Me. I do, right? So when I come in, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> Even though Will can do it, don't think that everybody else in the group can do it. And I think they're starting to think they can. Why don't just all do it at the same time? Just yeah, everybody yeah, right, do it. Baby, give me two, three. Hey. Let's just start a whole movement. All of us take off our shirts. Now that would be a show. This was like how recent. Uh, well, well, the first time we farted in front of Don, like, what happened? I didn't care. So you just farted, and she was like, like, you guys insane? I said, ugh. <laughs> I was laughing. I, I was like, again. maybe. <laughs> That's the test. They want to see if you're, like, it's the test. That's not fair. I know that ain't no me? test. I, I don't fart from him. Like, he's a perfect I but still go could. fishing. I get my hands dirty. I ride horses. I'm a, I'm not just a prissy girl. I don't you have to fart. fart in front of my man to be not prissy. <laughs> but if you farted in front of me, I would. I wouldn't care. And That's not true. I, I, don't believe, I, I don't believe that. You would not want a girl to be like, girl, hey, baby. And Beyonce came in this bitch and was like, girl, you are not exactly. You would be like, no. Exactly. That's my fault. <laughs> they want you to be untouchable, but not no, so untouchable. Want to hear like, but why are you giving it to me boy. loud then? What is she? What is she, what is she like? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One of the 
of the other things that we do when we're on tour is club appearances. We go, hang out. Because we like to see our fans. We like to promote the show, the album. Just sit back and chill and maybe have a drink or two with you guys. husband on the road with me. You know, it's okay, just kiss in front of us. We'll be fine. They have just blossomed into this little, you know, whole full-blown relationship. I'm planning their wedding right now. <laughs> Danity Kane fans are the craziest, nuttiest, most supportive bunch of people. I love Danity Kane! We, we love, love Danity, Danity Kane! Danity Kane all day! Danity Kane all day! Danity Kane! Danity Kane is unstoppable, baby. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Looking all nice. <laughs> hey, Robbie. Hey, hey, dude. Hey, dude. How you doing? Y'all getting ready to go hey. on soon? Yo, Greg, going now. Watch some of your sound check. You sounded really good, and I like Thank when you, you. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm gonna finish it. It feels just about as good as knowing that you perform right after day 26 and knowing that everybody just sitting there out of pity to see y'all. Oh, they don't really care about You know, I like Dawn. She's a real nice girl. But you know, at some points, I have to let her know I have to break her back to the ground. You know, I have to let her know that we running things over here. <laughs> it doesn't explain the key change in the underwear being thrown at us that says DK. You don't understand, the panties being thrown at us to say day 26. I feel like they're just waiting. They want to have their panties off. Let me tell you what it is. <laughs> so that they're free when we come on stage. I'm like MVP, I'm like Evander Holyfield. I am like the heavyweight champion of Smack Talk. Well, I just have to say this because it's in my heart. Just in case, you know what I'm saying, you don't hit the screams, Arby and I will be with megaphones in the front row just to get well, that Let me tell you something. Go, you know what we can do? We can all go stand in the audience, because you know they're going to scream if they go out there, and, and they can make it seem like, the and make it seem like the screams just because they want to. And when we go on stage, we'll make sure to go over to the sound guy and tell him to turn off turn the face all your mics. No, turn off all the face screams <laughs> and all their <laughs> mics. It's not going to happen. Come on, son. We got to go. We got to get out of here. We got to go get sexy. I love doing this thing. I love you guys. You're good. I'll make sure to stand in my megaphone. Y'all ready for David Kane? Make some noise! Y'all ready for David Kane? Make some noise! All this talk about ecstasy and right now, Aubrey, we gotta talk about the kind of guys we like, cause I'm sure these fellas want to know. What kind of guys do Danny Kane get into? You don't know what kind of guy Don likes. But Dee, I gotta keep it real with the girls. How many girls in here have dated a dude that's really fine and he thinks he's a pretty boy? Pretty boy! Shoot us, get mad. You feel the groupies, you took 
So today is a sad day. We are splitting up from the boys. We're going to our own solo day, Danny Kane in Utah, and the boys, day 26, are going to Vegas. I don't like, I don't like this, the separating thing. I'm gonna see you then. I don't know, because y'all doing y'all thing and we doing ours. This is gonna be hard for the both of us, but we do understand that we have like priorities to our groups and our groups come first. I feel like what it is is I get spoiled. Heart, I like get spoiled and then, you, and then you take it away and it's like, Worse than if it wasn't there for me. I'll take it away. <laughs> you two, you <laughs> leaving me. Fun. <laughs> you leaving me. I'm just nervous. I just hope that I get to see her. Yeah. I'm just in love. Um, see you later. Thank you. Y'all said that we said it in nice. harmony. Thank you. <laughs> You're dating the whole group, do you understand? The whole group. <laughs>